Social Buddies Podcast. Social Buddies. Social Social Buddies. Buddies. Social Buddies. That should be your intro. Yeah. Who was that? I heard a voice. <laughs> Tell us who you are, sir. Mr. Shackley. And why are you here, Shaq? Speak up a little bit. That's closer. a great question. Why <laughs> am I here? Well, Shackley came up with the name for this podcast. So we thought, episode four, introducing the show, we should have the, the creator of the title of Social Buddies here with us. How did you come up with such a ingenious name? I do a lot of dumb things, and I have a lot of... Dumb ideas. I'm just very good at coming up with <laughs> things that sound. I don't know. Perf- dumb. 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 <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's, that's yeah. I made, right. I made a career out of that actually. So. Well, on this episode, you're gonna hear us learn about our what would you call it zodiac signs. Yes. With three of Normal Community High School's most zodiac sign influenced students that sounds r- real that's it does that does not sound dumb that doesn't yeah. sound that made does up not at all. sound dumb at all no. would you like to introduce yourselves i am kayla cobb chase and thomas shot yes and correct we're here before we get started i yeah. i kind of want to ask so kayla you were saying something do you have issues with your glasses today? Or? Uh, yeah, so basically, we went to my grandpa's 80th birthday party last night in Chicago. Very exhilarating, I gotta say. Um, it was a great time. <laughs> and so we were there, and my parents always make fun of me for wearing like my glasses because like my eyes are like really, really bad. But they're like, you should get contacts. I don't like contacts. I don't want contacts. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I want my glasses. But they always make me take my like glasses off for pictures or whatever so they can like prove their point. I guess. And I thought I left them there. And then I realized that I didn't leave them there and that they were somewhere in my house. So I was running like 40 minutes late to school because I could not find my glasses at all. And now I'm wearing my mother's glasses to school and my eyes like it's kind of bad, but it's kind of sad because I can actually like see out of them pretty well. My kinda mom's 56. <laughs> so I have the eyes of a 56 year old woman. But those aren't your right prescription. No, you but they're pretty close though, because oh. like I can read like all of this stuff like clear okay. say. Well, do you want to borrow? Good, I have an though. old pair of contacts in my desk. Do you want to borrow my old contacts? I, uh, <laughs> I don't know. Maybe <laughs> the, the pink eye. I saw the pink eye. I got over that like a week ago. Are you sure? So it's probably gonna be okay. You went through all your drops. Like you used all the eye drops. Eye drops. Who uses eye drops? For your pink eye, you have to. Oh no, I didn't do that. I did the all natural. <laughs> the all natural. Did you use essential oils? No, I did <laughs> three, three drops of lemon juice, lavender drops, lavender and a little bit of jalapeno lemon pepper juice. juice. Right chamomile, before I got that. some chamomile extract, yeah. lemon juice, and it's lavender fine. drops. Yes. Right into the eye. Well, yes. we're glad that you have the mm-hmm. proper eyewear on or something similar to it. So, if anybody so. has seen Kayla's glasses, oh my god. What? My mom found them. Look. Oh, just oh, wow. now. You got to test Yeah, just now. How did she find them without her glasses on? <laughs> Alright, so I'm here to talk about Zodiacs. Talk about Zodiacs. You're coming on Social Buddies to talk to us about the Zodi- Zodiac? Yeah, your Zodiac. So. My Zodiac. And, yes. and Patrick. And Lawler. And oh, wow. Yes. Okay. And... Kevin, too. And, and Kevin, but he's not yes. here. In so absentia. You'll we'll have to... In spirit. Oh, okay. Yes. Let's start with Robinson. All right, so Mr. Robinson, you said your birthday was May 20th? May 20th. Wow. 1982. <laughs> oh, I see. <laughs> <laughs> um, so you're a Taurus Gemini cusp, so it's right, like, the Taurus... <laughs> That makes so much sense now so that I does. Like, yeah. We all speak the same language. Yeah. Like, really it's, like, it's like when you're born, because like me, I'm an Aries Pisces cusp, so I'm so born like, on March 21st, which is like the last day of like the Aries, uh-huh. and then the next day is the Pisces. So I'm the last day of oh. Taurus. So you're caught like right in between. Of all the Gemini. I'm a Taurini. 
Yes. Yes. Sure. A gymnast. <laughs> gymnast. 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 Yeah. A gymnast. Um, gymnast cricket. And I'm not gonna lie to you. I couldn't find like any famous people that were a Taurus Gemini. Cause except me. Except you. Except famous. But other, I'm like, hood yeah. famous. <laughs> <laughs> the streets. The streets he love step him. Step He yes. belongs to the step streets. Yes. He belongs to the streets. <laughs> he belongs to the streets. <laughs> Stephanie. Anyway, so some of the traits for a Taurus Gemini cusp are like adventurous and easily bored and versatile. And I'm gonna disclaimer: I don't like Geminis. Yeah, I me don't either. Like them. What do you mean? They you don't get like a bad rap. I don't they, like Geminis. They flip too much, which makes sense because like, what it helps for you though, because you're a teacher, because you can see both sides. But like, they they're very wishy washy. I've been consistent about my my politics. I know for that's years. the Taurus in you. Because, yeah, honestly, because I'm a Taurus, right? Oh. And, and so they're are. like, they like no change whatsoever they're like very hard opinions and oh, stuff. I like change I don't like change see and that's the I'm Gemini side change. of you you like you know, so I'm like, like a revolutionary who's stuck in his political economic doctrine but is open to change yes yeah yes that's yes. yes. uh-huh. the way you're putting it yeah mm. But that's why uh-huh. you and Sade <laughs> vibe so much because yes. both of you guys are Taurus. and same. that's why she secretly hates me behind my back no I don't hate no, you no. I'm, I'm, not a, I'm not a Gemini I don't hate well, you but because, I'm part Gemini yeah but I don't care because you're cool yeah because you're part Taurus I don't. Okay. I don't well, think really wasn't part Taurus. Well, it'd be well, fine then, either way because we vibe. Okay. Yes, we vibe. Mm-hmm. We're we're good yeah. friends. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Um, yes. So, Lawler, okay. if you want to learn That's about it? yourself, do you want it to be it? Do you want? You should have looked up moon signs. I'm, you said you I'm. See if you guys are compatible. You said I'm versatile. Moon. What'd you say? Yeah, ver- versatile, adventurous, easily bored. I yeah, thought you were going to give me some more to chew on here. Well, Sade. I mean, if you want some famous Taurus people, you got Queen Elizabeth II, John Cena, John Channing Cena. Tatum, <laughs> Carol <laughs> Burnett, The Rock, Gal Gadot. She's, I like None of this. Me That's too. my wife. None of this I love, is speaking I love to me. Gal. Well, I those are just... <laughs> I do see some of The Rock. Yeah. Here. I can see that. <laughs> well, I know what I am. That's kind of... You're a I'm cancer. cancer. Yeah, you're a cancer. Fun. <laughs> That's what I my love mother that. always told me growing up. So oh. I always refer to you as a parasite. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So what? Uh, what is the the story on cancers? Um, there. Um, and am I on the cusp, or am I just no, straight cancer? You're just straight oh, cancer. Okay. okay. Just a cancer. Okay, yeah. <laughs> being cancer. What type? Um, anyway, <laughs> so cancers, they they got like a rep for being really like emotional mm-hmm. and like crybabies. I don't know. Oh, that's me. Yeah. yeah. That is me. That's Every time I are. lose at Monopoly, <laughs> either, I flip the board. Don't put his stapler in jello. No. Yeah. Well, no. I remember, I remember no. seeing that video. But some of their traits are like creative and intuitive and being like a homebody. So I don't. Know I see this for you, yeah. but you're very like extroverted. I feel like an extroverted homebody. <laughs> but you yeah, said you were introverted when you were younger, though, right? Yeah, I didn't speak to anyone until yeah. I was grade. My parents had to call my seventh grade social studies teacher, and they were like, "Is Patrick speaking to anyone?" Because there's five people at home. I love that. But some famous cancers are Ariana Grande, Period. Post Malone, see, Kevin Hart, Jaden Smith, and you have Vin Diesel. The good ones. You have all the good ones. Do I? Vin Diesel. Yes. You do. Vin, Vin Diesel. Diesel. He's cool. I just right. found out that he was black like three months ago. What? Was, yeah, he's mixed. I thought he was just spicy. I thought, yeah, same. I, I thought he was spicy he white. Was spicy. Can we clarify what spicy means? Spicy. Just like this spicy white is like, what is his name? He's like Taylor Lautner. Like I thought he was Native American, but, he, but he's, he's just spicy. Oh, he's spicy. Taylor. I thought that is. is. Taylor from Swift when it started saying Twilight. Taylor. Twilight. Twilight. The only Multiple tan person you've oh, ever seen. Twilight. No. 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 Oh, she might have seen a poster somewhere. No, yeah. Never. Is well, Robinson you know spicy? You know what we're doing. No, you're not spicy white. No, no you like are spi- spicy white is like, <laughs> you look skin tone. <laughs> very, very, very. Okay. It's skin tone. Like, you think they might be white. They might be some other ethnicity. Yeah. That's what spicy white mm-hmm. is. Mm-hmm. You're, you're just, just a step foot. You're a step foot. I'm a step After we talk about cease, we need to explain what a step is. Oh, okay. Also, I would say instead of a spicy white, you're more of like a salt. Saltine white. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. I am very salty. Salty. Yes. Yeah, salty white. That's salty the Aries white. moon. You project I Aries energy. I do? I don't know yes. Aries energy is salty? Yeah. Sure. No. No, they're not yeah. salty. They're very... <laughs> that was just... <laughs> What's Aries energy? I'm Aries energy. Yeah, she's, she's, a, she's, she's an Aries. Aries. So I'm an Aries with to you? To me, they're yes. kind of upset I about think things. so. I don't know. I'm not upset. I'm passionate. You know, That's a good word. I'm for very it. passionate. They are okay. Very passionate. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I just feel strongly about things. Yes. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> so what's uh, what's the cease man? What Kevin? He is logical. He's a Taurus. He's like, a Taurus too. Yeah. Oh yeah. May first. Yeah. His birthday is a day International after Workers' Day. Okay. I didn't May know Day. That. 
<laughs> but it's also the day after mine. My birthday is April 30th, so everyone take notes. I'm expecting presents from everyone. Okay. Yes, especially okay. you. Especially Just because I said so. Yes. April what? 30th. Mm-hmm. Put it in my calendar. Yeah, you better do it. I didn't get a birthday. Hold on. I didn't get a birthday gift. I know. It's coming eventually. I have $7. It's, it's coming. Anyway. It's a different month. And, yeah, Kevin. And, tell us about <laughs> Kevin. Let's talk about Kevin. He's a real tourist. Not yeah. like me. I'm a fake halfway tourist. Yes. yes. You're half and half. Halfway. Anyway, so his traits are logical, generous, trustworthy, stubborn, imbalanced, if you want to go on to the negative side. Not all of them have to apply. You're making a face. Not all of them have to apply <laughs> to the <laughs> person. <laughs> So you didn't say imbalanced. You said he's imbalanced. He's not balanced. Yes, as in, as in not Kevin balanced. Kevin sees... He says balanced. No, he's not no, a balanced he, person, No, as guys. a person, I think he is very balanced. He, he seems no balance. <laughs> no balance. I mean, that's why he walks down the hall. <laughs> There's a lot of balance in that swagger. That's what I'm saying. <clears throat> I don't have that swagger. But um, some famous Tars does. people like we went over. John Cena, my king. Kehlani, my wife. Yes. Gal Gadot, also my wife. I don't she know is. who any of these people are. Gal Gadot, she's... I don't... Have you seen... Like, oh, she played Wonder, Wonder Woman. Wonder Woman. She's from you Israel. Know, I've Wonder heard Woman. of Wonder Woman. Is she spicy white? Yeah. No, she, no, no, she's, no, she's, she's, she's actually something. Oh, yeah. okay. What? Yeah. <laughs> she's spicy white. No, she's, she's not, not spicy, spicy white. That's just spicy. Yeah, it's just she spicy. Is just regular she's spicy? Spice. Yeah. She's spicy. Yeah. She's okay. from Israel. Yeah. Gotcha. But it's mm-hmm. still free Palestine over here. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's right. That's right. That's Yes. Free Palestine. Yes. Anyway. Okay, so please explain what a step is because... Y'all have a, I mean, I, I, accused isn't the right word. <laughs> no, you have yeah, told me. Yes, informed you. You have informed me that I am a stepper. Yes, someone played big last stepper. field trip. We no. all went. and I'm still not yeah. certain. I fully understand what you mean. You can identify who they are by how they dress. Usually, all black, which is Robinson's <laughs> brand. Yes, um, and they wear black CEO Air Force all ones. Black. And that's that says something about a person. If you wear black Air Force Ones, you're not to be messed with or trifled with. People like, tend to, they just like, okay, I'll they'll leave you alone. Yeah. <laughs> because people who go. wear black Air Force Ones, like they are not to be messed with. They just they almost have nothing to lose. They don't care. But I don't have black Air Force that's Ones. That's why we're going to give you black into Air Force Ones. Like you black Air Force because Ones. Because you already are a stepper, but you just need the shoes. But to the be. shoes would just really just let everyone yeah. else yeah. know. Yeah, that's that our parting gift. I can't be a stepper with black sock No, No. What if you wear Brooks running shoes? Well, I don't know if you have, does he have stepper energy? You're too nice to be a stepper. I feel like you would <laughs> I'm not be like here's the nice. thing. It's he was ready energy. to step at the um at the field trip. He was. That's when we're like, you're a step you are. Well, the, what, do you, what do you mean he was ready to step? We almost okay. got jumped. So, yes, yeah, so we see I told you we almost got jumped. You're like, we didn't get jumped. When we, we almost, almost got, got jumped. jumped. We didn't almost get jumped. <laughs> when there was a confrontation <laughs> between the woman yes. who was walking by yes. and the she lady was about to threatened. Yes, so we almost students. got jumped. <laughs> we almost got jumped. Yeah, jump. And so you yes. saw my posture, like, am I about to have am I about You were about to, to step. Yeah, yeah, you were about to you were about hey, to hey, hey. And, <laughs> cut all that out. Diffuse the situation. I was going to try to diffuse it. Yes. yes. With my body. Yes. Yes. Yeah. But tonight, <laughs> you had to. You were ready. Right right I was ready to intervene. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but not, not to fight. No. 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 no, no. Just no. handle. The situation. That's why you're such an interesting case because you yes. are very like anti-violent. But, but you're still, still a stepper. stepper. You can be a pacifist stepper. Yeah, you yes. can. You are the you first. Are. Of you are the first. D1. You're the first one. <laughs> so, so a stepper is not just fashion. It's not just Air Force no, Ones and no, a black hoodie. No, it's about attitude. the attitude. Yeah. It's, it's about the attitude. attitude. Yes. Yeah, it's the like no one's gonna because mess I'm, with me. Because I'm ready mm-hmm. to throw down for the yeah. revolution. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yes. Absolutely. Even as a pacifist. Yes. I'm a You ready to give it all? You said I don't care. As our graduation gift, we will be getting you black Air Force Ones. Yes. Wow. Yes. It's what you deserve. Wow. I, mm-hmm. My I, I, my will heart feels them? very full. <laughs> will you wear them you though? Like we get you them? Because I feel like you don't. Your your outfits are very minimalist. Yes, and yeah. the same. They, but they look good. I have avoided them. Nike for many years. Yeah, yeah. I know. Nike is a bad corporation at the end of the day. We all know it. Yes. Sockanies are probably made in a sweatshop too. It's well, not like but I, I mean, it's about it's. First of all, it's from mm-hmm. us. So yeah, they're yes. sentimental. I will wear them. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yes. you have to. Yes. And everyone else will notice them too. They'll yes. be like, wait a second. Like Robinson, Robinson. Air Force <laughs> One. <laughs> well, people actually, why do people always notice shoes? 
don't know. I don't know. Just like, good that, shoes. like you've always noticed my shoes and how nice they are. They're dad shoes. <laughs> they're, <laughs> they're not they're dad, dad shoes. shoes. They're cookout shoes. These are these are, are my stepping those shoes. Are those are the most lawn shoes. Those are the most lawn shoes. When I'm about to step out into the yard, start cutting the grass. We've got a guest. Is it Kevin? Who, Who is, is the it? visitor? Oh, come oh on. hi, <laughs> Bake. Oh, we were just talking about no, no, Bake, 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 come back, come back. Come back. Come back. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> well, oh, I'm gonna be a step up. No, no. Bake. <laughs> Bake. Okay, I don't want to. <laughs> um, for listeners who 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 couldn't see what just happened, Miss um, <laughs> Baker knocked on the door. We opened it. Got excited. She gave us a dirty look and promptly walked and away. Left. Yes. We gave her a chance. We gave Bake, her we an love honest you. chance. If she you're listening to hard. this, we love you. It's all right. We do love you. We love you. Yeah. 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 Okay. All right. Cool. But yeah, my dad got Air Force, Black Air Force One, so now you have to get them. You, but your dad is a he's he is a he's stepper. a OG stepper. He is. I'm also gonna get my yeah. dad some Black Air, Air Force, Force Ones. Yeah. It's a stepper. Kai is also <laughs> shoe size. Yeah. Like he is also an original stepper. He, he is. is. You know, I feel I, like I'm stepper derivative. <laughs> Derivative. No, you're a step, but you're, you're a, step, a, a very unique step. You're the step, but we need more He's step. Like, you're like changing you. the face of step. step <laughs> is. The step up post in the best way you are. possible. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Thanks for coming on the cry. show. No problem. Thank you for having us. My social body. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that sounds so scary. Yeah. <laughs> That was amazing. I, I learned. I learned so much. It was life altering. What did you think from listening to that segment? Um, I still don't know what a zodiac sign is. <laughs> well, I'm on the cusp, so yeah. And I'm yeah. Cancer. I learned yeah. I'm Cancer. Yeah. I've been told that a lot in my life. I think yeah. I've heard that once or twice. So but, yeah. <laughs> but uh, guess what? There's more. That's not all we have today. <laughs> we have received word. That the critically acclaimed TV show Fargo, produced by FX, is being taped here, in, filmed here <laughs> in town these last couple days. We found some production. Do you see the production trailers over at uh, Eastview Church? Right by the school. Yeah. So we uh, decided, so myself, Mr. Robinson, and Mr. Cease decided to go on a little expedition to see uh, what's going on. And is it true? That Chris Rock is here. And did we get to meet him? You'll have to listen to this segment to find out. Right now. Stay tuned. (laughs) (laughs) It's Friday, February 28th. We're walking over to Yeshview, trying to check out, see if we can see Chris Rock or any of the other cast members from Fargo TV. We need to back up a minute. So... Back it it up. turns out the, uh, the, to the, phone. To the it phone. turns out the FX TV show Fargo. Uh, they're filming season four. Um, they filmed in Pontiac, and then they moved down to Bloomington Normal to film a couple days. And they have all their production trailers in the uh, east side of the parking lot at Eastview Church. Let's back it up even further. Pat Lawler is a huge fan of Andrew Bird. I don't know who that is. Um, but I do like the TV show Fargo. It's incredibly well done. Is it? And they're filming at the Duncan Manor, the historic Duncan Manor behind the high school. And we know that Chris Rock is in season four, and he had. We have inside information that he don't might say, be. Don't say where he's that at. he we might be. We're not. That he okay. might be in town. And so we're going to go over there and see if we can meet Chris Rock, who many of you probably know. It's As the zebra from Madagascar. So it looks like there's a lot of uh, movement over there right now. I don't know if they're going to let us walk right through. What do you think? I mean, yesterday, if we look official, the thing is, if you have a clipboard and you look like you know where you're going, you can get into 90% of locations. Well, we don't have a clipboard. Should we grab a ladder and just carry a ladder around? <laughs> I've heard that bringing a ladder into events will let, like, people just think you're official. No, no, no. They're not going to ask us. But we're going to try to see if we can ask them some questions. Uh, about what's going to happen in season four. Will Chris Rock's character live or die? Um, what else do they have coming up on the FX oh, network? What do they got covered up with those blue tarps over there? I feel like there's something there's something going on. Maybe a helicopter. Area 51. And we need, to, we need to get Robinson in on this, what he thinks about all of the commotion. Uh, uh, 
Fargo's on the road. I've uh, never seen the show Fargo, and if I was them, I would not let me onto their whoa, whoa car coming into their uh, their uh, don't want to get hit staging area. I don't know what else to say. Well, I, I've seen the movie. The movie was fine. The movie was very good. I'd also like to make a public service announcement. Um, when you leave the parking lot, go slow. And if you see your teachers walking along the side, keep your hands on the wheel and drive. <laughs> don't turn to the side to start waving to them without looking where you're going. Uh, we, are, you're in the driver's we are now entering the Constitution Trail. Um, it's a long, arduous walk over to Eastview Church. Oh, God, I'm tired. It's been a long walk. We're getting there, though. We see the trucks. We see lots of cars, more cars than yesterday. Yeah, they're, like, see- blocking off the way that we walk, too. I feel like there's... I feel like they're going to stop us today. They might. Um, We walked through the trailers yesterday, not into them. Um, But uh, we see some people. Maybe we can get them on the pod. (laughs) They're going to... They're going to see three people, three adult men walking through with speaking into a phone. Hey, let's not pretend. Let's pretend. Should we put the phone down? Put the phone down, but let's just keep walking. (laughs) Okay, we're going to ask this guy if we can speak to anyone famous. Hi. Can we? Hey, we're teachers from over at the school. We were just wondering if there's anybody like from the cast that is here that we could say hi to. I'm not, I'm not sure. I don't know if you're even allowed to tell. Us, but, hey, we just walked from the school and we we're like, hey, we, we want to, we want to see. This is the one time I'm not sure if there's anybody here famous yeah. here today. Oh. oh. Is oh, there anybody? Sorry. We just were, we're teachers from over here at the school and we just were walking over and saying, see if anybody was interesting over here that we could say hi to. We really wanted to say hi to Chris Rock. Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, Dang. Well, we you, you worked for the show? Huh? You worked for the show? Yes. Can, can, can I ask you a question? We, we, we have a I podcast record? too. What? Can I ask, ask you a question how you like working for the show? I love it. You, can you say it on our my phone? <laughs> I love it. <laughs> what do you love about working for the show Fargo? More than anything to pay. Awesome. The pay. <laughs> yes. You know what sucks about teaching? The pay. <laughs> this is so awesome. That was good. We just got to interview somebody who works for Fargo. We don't know what he does, but he gets paid well, apparently. Let's talk to one of these guys. Um. I think they're wrapping up, which is why they don't. There's a guy in a truck over there. We should ask him what's on the tarps. Should we do it? I dare you. Yeah, I dare I, I get kind of shy. Yeah, I don't know how you're, you're like the, the biggest, like, extrovert uh-huh. in this group. Uh-huh. All right, all right. We're at, dude, there's a big truck here. There's some blue tarps on it. I'm going to ask the guy what's under the tarps. <laughs> here we go. He <laughs> waved You gotta say that you're a How's it going? We're teachers over at that school. Can I ask you a question for a recording from our? We have a teacher podcast. Okay. Do you work Sorry. for Fargo? I I work with the production company, not Fargo directly. No. Cool. Okay. He works for the production company. Can I ask you what is under these big blue tarps? Uh, to be honest, I have no idea. They use them <laughs> as special effects stuff. I don't know. Okay. All right. Awesome. The guy driving the truck with the big blue tarps. Much we're under confidentiality. Okay. That's good. Ah. Can, can you say that? Can you say what you just said on my phone? No. <laughs> <laughs> can you get a photo with you with him? No. Being interviewed. Okay. All right. Okay. No photos. He no, can't tell us man. anything because it's. We haven't been kicked and out we yet. have not found Chris Rock yet. And he's under a confidentiality agreement. Yeah, you won't find him. <laughs> he said we will not find Chris Rock. <laughs> and when I asked him if he didn't hear about his confidentiality agreement, he said he would not comment on that. <laughs> <laughs> so you guys teach over here? Yeah, yeah. yeah, Social yeah. yeah. Do you want to ask us, go, us a question? Uh, what high school is it called? Is it a normal or. Yeah, normal, normal community high school. Yep. We're yeah. not used to having. This around here, a so lot of it's people out here aren't. <laughs> yeah. Do you get a lot of people coming by and asking questions, or uh, we get more people coming by looking at the cars than anything else? 
That's pretty much oh, the most okay. popular thing it, for everyone it takes to see. Place in like the 50s. I think the next season takes place in like the 50s. Somewhere around there. Somewhere, somewhere around. We don't we can't. Talk yeah. <laughs> I did not know. I've never seen the show. I've seen the movie, but were it's there, different. Were there a lot of people coming out in Pontiac? Because I feel like when you filmed there, it was probably a more densely populated area. I think the actually the news crew came out for Pontiac. Oh, cool. yeah. It's a big deal, well, Central we're, Illinois. We're the news crew here. <laughs> <laughs> Hey. That has it all, huh? Yes. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Hey, thanks, man. Yeah, yeah thanks. thanks. Yeah, Have a good one. Have a great day. Thanks. See ya. Yep. <laughs> all right. <laughs> that this went about as about as well as can be expected, right? <laughs> hey, nobody gave us the boot. That's what I mean. Nobody told us to leave. <laughs> But anyways, it's been a, a great walk. It's brisk. And we have enjoyed the opportunity to talk about some of the finer points of television with you. And everybody was really friendly on the production crew. I mean, nobody nobody was was rude. But I guess it helps that we said we are teachers. I don't know. Maybe they didn't We're not the us. enemy. We're not threatening. We're not threatening. I yet. did appreciate the roll of the eyes the guy gave us when we said we were a news crew of our own. <laughs> <laughs> it was very nice of him. Yes. He was a nice guy, though. He was a very nice guy. He entertained us. He turned the truck off. And he engaged in some dialogue with us, which is more than uh, he had to do. He's, he's also a liar. Uh, he said he didn't know what was under those tarps. He knows what's under those tarps. He's lying to us. Well, and he said that Chris Rock's not here, and I've heard he is. He's yeah. a nice guy, a nice liar. But, yeah, yeah, but you know what? He's not a liar. I mean, he, he's doing his job. I think Chris. He's Rock doing was, his job. He's I just think, doing his job. I think Chris Rock was here. I think he was actually eating lunch in our cafeteria earlier, and we just didn't know it. I think he's probably under the tarp. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. Wow, that was really something. I had fun. It's a good way to spend a lunch break. Yeah, and uh, I hope that you all think this was a good way to spend your time listening to episode four of Social Buddies. And, as always... Bye! Social buddies. 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 Social budd